Welcome back Vikings. We're back in Stationers and I've made some changes um, just off camera. Nothing, um, well I say too massive. It's pretty a bit large structure but I haven't actually done what I promised I would do on camera which is um, do the actual pipe layout and get in pressurized for the hydroponics. So let me just go over what I've done off camera. So what I've done over here is I haven't got around to siding this up yet. It's still not how I want it. But I have added two more solar panels just to keep things moving along, ticking over nicely. Make sure everything's charged. Might as well change this out while we're here. As you can see we've got quite a few Ah, these are all small now. Small, small. Uh oh. I know where the other one went. Uh, I've put a large one in here. I think. Oh, why did I just throw that to? I think I put. I most likely did. Oh, too much stuff going on. Uh huh. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I do not need a large one in there for no reason. I do have a need the large one on me, right? And that's the word. Um, I've done a little bit of mining off camera, and then over here, um, what we've got set up is where our a little bit of a base is going to be. So this is mainly going to be the greenhouse. But then I figured, why not have on the right hand side here, we're going to have some workbenches set up so we can actually <coughs> craft the stuff once it's grown. So i.e. Um, what we're talking about, cereal bars and etc. And then down here is where all the plants are going to grow. So I should catch the sun quite nicely, I think. So yeah it'll run from here down so what we need to do is figure out how we're going to lay this out and get it working now we're going to go with a basic build of tanks i'm probably going to have to end up moving the furnace i think um tanks i don't actually know where i want them yet uh, that's the problem that is the, oy, the problem I don't know where I want to lay my tanks out because I want them accessible for the whole entire base. Hmm. Maybe on the other side. And then we just have to move the furnace afterwards. So, what we need is steel frames. We're going to need a lot more steel frames. So, let's get you craft in. Where's the rest of our steel? Still got a large amount of it. So, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, still frames, where are you? Still frames. Right. We can make it some of those. We also need, where is it? I think we're going to need at least four tanks. So, kits, storage, tank. And what do we need for that? Copper and steel. Oh, great, I better not use all that steel over there then. I think my copper's in here because I was making <coughs> some. Right, let's just get some of these. So we basically want it not out there because I don't want to block the sunlight out here. Do we want it one up? Or do we want it out here actually? You know what? We can actually build it up here. We can and we shall. So I reckon that should be all right. So let's get ready. You just make some steel sheets. 
don't know how many of them we got. How many have we got in here? Oh, we've got plenty of those. Ignore me. And then what we'll do. Switch you off. And... Uh, I need at least three more tanks because I've already got one. Right, we'll just do that. So that creates that. Three tanks. And one second. Uh, right, what do we need? We need this. Oh, hello. Where's that gone? I'm putting it away in the belt while it's still on. some of this in a bit I would imagine but we'll leave them up there for now let's go get the tanks so basically let me go inside first I'll just, I'll just gather up these tanks they are stackable I'll put the other one. right so all this is gonna move in the end and then basically in here we're gonna have at least how many blocks I don't know one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we have at least two vents, so if we start off with two, two there, two there, two there, that's probably too much. Two, two, and two. Um, and then we'll go from there. We basically want a system for pulling in and taking out. So if you've watched my moon let's play, you'll understand that there'll be a passive vent, which will constantly be keeping the pressure. And then there will be a active vent system, which will work on a switch to pull, um, to basically evacuate the room or flood it back in when we want to pressurize. Now the cool thing that I've been reading about greenhouses is you don't need to get the pressure very high. It just needs to be above six um, kPa and it could just be all CO2. So we don't have to do a whole lot for atmospherics, but I do want to capture um, a sizable amount. I actually need to extend this out a little bit more. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to be fussy now because I want at least one. I'm going to want at least one square per tank and for me to do that I'm going to have to flatten some of this out. So just bear with me while we sort this out. Uh, what I'll probably do is cut back when I've actually got the tanks in place. Right, what we've got, we've got the tanks in place. So we've got four tanks. Initially, we're going to have uh, one to capture some water, because we're going to need that for the hydroponics, one to capture the CO2, one to capture oxygen that's going to be coming out of the room, and one to capture the any everything else, basically. Um, we will eventually have more. Initially, I just need to capture everything else into one. So, what we're going to do, I just realized actually we need, I don't think you actually start with any. I need atmospheric kits to do the filtering. And I don't think you actually start with any. Hmm. This organic supplies, this organic supplies. 
Nope, oh, you don't actually start with any, so where would that be in here, I'm guessing? Uh me a kit, I would imagine. Atmospherics. How expensive is this gonna be? Iron, copper, gold. Iron, copper and gold. So we are going to start running out on iron. So what we're gonna do is free some more iron in the burb. Okay, so we're gonna need four of these. First I'm gonna make sure I've built the right thing. Du, 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 du. Let's just double check. Conditioner, electrolyzer, electrolyzer. Hmm. What that does? Filtration. That's the one we need. Nope. That is the wrong thing. Shoots will eventually come in handy, but we don't need them at the moment. Ah, oh, they're not stackable. Let's go deliver these up here then, shall we? While the rest of them get built. Oh, switch that off. Oh, uh, I managed to kick the other one. How's our power holding up? It's doing all right, considering we're using everything. It's doing all right. So what we're gonna have here, filtration system. So what we got. So that is where it's gonna come in. So I'm hoping maybe place this here. That's input, that is filtered, yep, and that is unfiltered. Fantastic. There we go. I've laid down the wrong thing. There we go. So, we're eventually going to want this on Mac, so we need to be able to get to the data ports as well. And, so, Let's plan this out. We're gonna have to move, if we move the furnace to say here for now. Let's just get this out of the way. You can stay there. I don't actually know what you've got in you at the moment. We are going to need some more copper, so we are going to throw some more copper in there. Put you in there. And, right, let's just get an idea of how this is going to work. So say the furnace is going to be there, that works out fine. That is the output line, so the output's going to come up here, it's going to have to come up to this first one. So we're probably going to need a ton of pipe, let's just move these.
what do I actually need to make pipe? Iron, right, I'm gonna make a ton of pipe and I will see you briefly. Right, so what we got so far? Uh, let's just switch this off. Even though we are doing perfectly fine with power at the moment, I just want to conserve a bit. Um, we've got the furnace hooked up, and the pipe's running this way, and it runs up here. Now, the first thing it does is anything we put in the furnace, when we actually decide to evac it, um, which reminds me I need to put a valve on there, um, it will fill up gas. Um, sorry. Oxygen will go into the first tank. Water into the second tank. CO2 into the third, and then everything else, which is unfilled, will go into the fourth tank. And then from here, what I've done is just got the pipes ready. We're not going to need oxygen to come off at the moment, at this precise moment in time, because we're not actually going to be taking our suit off in there. So CO2 will come down, water will come down, CO2 will be used to pump in the, the fill the room of the atmosphere and the water will be used to trickle in down here and feed the hydroponics so that's what we got at the moment and then what we're going to do oh, uh, fall through here is I'm quickly going to place the vents and then what I want to do is have a look and make sure everything upstairs is storing um, correctly. So let's just put these in so you can get an idea of where they're going to go. And for that, I'm going to need to rip up all this floor out. Just so I can see what I'm doing. And plan this pipe work out properly. So you can just go there for now, out the way. You can go there, out the way. And right, passive vents. So we are going to have, we're facing that way. Um, how close do we want it? We have them right up, I think. So we were gonna put one there. And then, Low. Uh oh. Filter critical. My filter's gone, bust. So I think I made an extra one. I did. Uh, okay. So I've gone through two of those. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to get rid of this pipe work. Oh, we've got a valve. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We shall move that in a second to do the test. Um, what were we doing? What did I just do with all those passive events? Uh, check that in there for a minute. Did I just put them down? I did just put them down. Okay. Ignore me. And uh, do, do, do. What are we going to do? Where are they going to do it from? That side. And then say there as well. Okay, so then all we're going to do is mimic this on either side. I don't know why it's still telling me. Pressure critical. Temperature critical. Oxygen critical. Low pressure. I don't know what's going on about now. Still got the warning sign showing up for the filter, but I've got the filter in place. And then active vents. I'm gonna go here. Here. Okay, I see. Okay, G. 
just to keep in line with symmetry. Actually, you know what? It would probably for now we'll just space it out like this, shall we? Well, they can actually sit right next to each other. But we don't need them to. Just wrench that one up for a sec. Put that one there. Put that one there. Yeah, I didn't think they could go up there. Put that one there. So this is going to be inward, outward. Outward, outward, outward. So basically, if you haven't seen the moon um, let's play already, to get general gist, all these vents, so all these passive vents on this side are going to be constantly pulling in um, CO2 from out there. Well, basically, yeah, pulling it, the atmosphere in and filling the room up, keeping it to the right pressure. All the passive vents on this side are going to be pulling it out um, when it gets over a certain amount. So it will just pull, it will actively pull it out as soon as. So, say we set the pressure in here to be one to be at between six and ten. So, as soon as it goes above ten, these will keep pulling it out basically through a back pressure pump. Um, then the active vents are here. So all these ones are set to outward. So when we flick a, a switch, we can vent the room. We can completely evacuate everything in here. So that means if we want to do any projects in here or we get a fire in the kitchen area, we can just quickly dump all of the atmosphere um, back up into our tanks. Same as when we want to pressurize the room, we use this side to fill the room back up. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I will explain it more as I get to the inner workings of it. Um, now just bear with me for a bit because I'm just going to go collect some volatiles and I will be back to back. Okay Vikings, so <coughs> I went on a little mining trip just so we can make sure this is all working perfectly. So what we got is we're going to just, not all of it, but we are going to throw uh, I'm going to power up the furnace and I'm just going to put in some, oh crap, oh dear what's going on here, I'm going to put in some oxide and then we're going to put in some Three, four, five, six. And we're just going to put in some volatiles as well. Boom. Get that fire right up. That is proper hot. And then what we can do. Let's see if we can actually make some more steel, shall we? Let's put some more ore in. Let's see if it's too hot to do. And do some more of this. says you're going to produce still so what I'm going to do is be a bit greedy see if I get two lots made up if we can mind you that temperature is dropping rapidly Drop in rapido. That'll do. 
400 still is perfect. And let's burn off some of this. Get some copper done while we're here. works okay the temperatures probably dipped too much so what we do is one two three four five again Bump. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's why. Because that was on that dragon. spike it did not uh, is it not going to work nope what if we just dump the rest of that in there maybe it's the oxides there you go that was the one we were looking for Oxides. Whoa. That is proper glowing and that pressure is crazy. Hopefully this doesn't blow up on me. Ah, that pipe's gone. Of course. Because we've been all right. What we do is do the valve, and then what I want to do actually is just dump power input. All right. Hopefully that's gone in. Soon find out. I'm ready to take this off. Put it down. Right, this should start dropping. That is dropping. Okay. So, what does that give us? What is in there? We've got H2, N2, H2O, CO2. That ah, oh, I tell you what, what would help, wouldn't it, if we switch these bad boys on? Boom, boom. Ah, that would also help. I uh, <laughs> in the rush to get this tested, I forgot to power everything up. There we go. They are running. Let's see what we got in here. Small tank, oxygen. We got that's building nicely. That HTO is building, and CO2 is building. And then everything else, which is what we wanted, is going over here. So that is working fine. And the temperature is coming out quite hot. But it's outside, so it should it should cool nicely, and the uh, pressure in here is dropping. Uh, 
So hopefully that all drains off. So I'm kicking that back to. So that is basically our filtration test and tank system test. Now, uh, what I wanted to do, obviously, I had grand designs for this uh, episode, was I was going to build this whole area and pressurize it and make sure it was working. That's not going to happen because we are running out of time. I'm not sure how long this episode has been already. Um, got a fair bit of editing to do because I don't really want to show you everything of me running around like I had this chicken. Um, so hopefully um, you get an idea of how this works and what the next step is going to be like I said um, this is going to be CO2 and CO2 is going to come down those pipes will eventually feed into here and it will pressurize this room these pipes will be taking stuff out and what I'll probably do is they'll probably actually look at that oh, excuse me that's perfect placement actually they will just feed it into that line there. So that'll be a freeway junction and they will just come through here and they can just feed into there. Straight into that into that system and then they will come up here and go back through the tank system. That sounds like a good plan. Let me know what you think. And eventually what we're gonna look at. The furnace probably isn't actually gonna stay here. Um, the furnace will get moved eventually, but what we'll do is make good use of the input system and then we'll basically have this permanently hot so we can just chuck stuff in when we get back. Um, but I also want to set up a system with these um, which captures the gas off of them and have an automatic smelting system. So let me know what you think um, in the comments below. Let's just check what this is doing now. Is this completely empty? So the furnace is empty. Pipe network's empty. So what we can actually do is turn this off. Pipe network's empty. These don't need to be running. And let's have a quick look at what these are. 99%, that's fine. 98% and 98%. And what have we got? We've got quite a bit of mileage in there. We've got 1.4k moles of CO2, which is good. We have got HTO, 103 moles, and we've got 278 moles of O2, which is good. Now there is O2, CO2, N2, and X in the thing. So what we could use is an active vent here and just pull in, and we could constantly be getting stuff um, for the cheap, for the free. Um, I've seen a few people do that. I don't know if I want to cheat the system that way. I don't know if you are meant to be able to pull stuff out of the atmosphere like that. Whether the devs made it that way. Um, but it's there, so we might put it to use. Let me know what you think. And in the next episode, what we will do is we'll finish this off and get it pressurized and hopefully get things growing. So leave a like, share it around, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thank you.